Hi, I'm Jim, and I'm here to tell you about the cold therapy system you'll be using after your surgery or to treat your injury or condition. You'll be using Polar Care Cold Therapy from Bragg. Depending on your doctor's requirements, you'll have the Polar Care Kodiak, the Polar Care Cube, or Polar Care Glacier Cold Therapy System. Now, why was Bragg Polar Care selected for you? Well, Bragg launched the first cold therapy system with a motorized pump in 1991. Over 20 years later, we continue to innovate our products to better serve our customers. We remain the industry leader today, having sold over 2 million cold therapy systems worldwide. This tells you that Polar Care has been real life tested over the years. Polar Care units are remarkably reliable and easy to use, and that's important. The last thing you want after surgery is to worry about having problems with your unit or being difficult to use. The main reason for using Polar Care is that it will help reduce pain and swelling after your surgery. It can help you feel better. Polar Care units come with body specific pads. This one is for the shoulder. This one is for the ankle. This one is multi-use, which means it can be used on any body part. And here you can see the knee pad. These pads are designed to let you comfortably apply cold therapy longer than ice alone. Polar Care is less messy than ice and the pads stay in place. Depending on the unit provided to you, the cold application time is up to 11 hours, so there's no need to keep refilling the unit with ice. Just sit back and relax. The units are also quiet, so you can rest comfortably. Before we talk about how to use Polar Care, a word of caution. Polar Care systems can be cold enough to seriously injure the skin. Talk to your doctor about your cold therapy treatment. Also, be sure to follow the operating instructions, which are printed on the side of the unit, and the product insert located in the pouch on the unit. Certain medical conditions make cold-induced injury more likely. Your doctor will talk to you about your medical history, including any reactions you may have to cold. If you have any questions, ask your doctor before you use Polar Care. If you're having surgery, the pad is first applied just after surgery, so you'll likely wake up with the pad already on. Polar care units are easy to set up. They all work the same way. Place the handle in the unlocked position and remove the cooler lid. Fill the polar care cooler to the fill line with water, then add ice to the indicated line. Close the cooler lid and move the handle to the locked position. If you're using Polar Care Cold Therapy to treat an injury or condition, make sure you use the pad designed specifically for the part of your body you're going to treat. If you use another kind of pad, your skin can get too cold and be injured. To apply the pad, always use an insulation barrier like a Bragg Polar Dressing or an elastic bandage between the pad and the skin. Don't let any part of the pad touch the skin directly. If you're wearing a sterile dressing that doesn't completely cover the skin under the pad, use an additional barrier. Now that your insulation barrier is in place, apply the pad. Use the elastic straps to hold the pad in place. Attach the pad to the cooler by first pressing down on the silver tabs on the connector attached to the cooler hose and the pad hose. Then. Link the connectors together. You'll hear two clicks, one from each connector when the pad is connected to the cooler. Next, plug the power supply into the DC jack on the top of the lid. Plug the opposite end of the power supply into an electric outlet to begin cold treatment. If you're using the optional battery pack with Polar Care Kodiak, insert the battery plug into the DC jack on the lid. Polar Care Cube and Glacier do not have battery options. Once it has power, the unit will immediately begin circulating water through the pad. If there is any water leaking from any part of the unit, pad, or connection, stop using the unit and contact Bray. Use Polar Care only as prescribed by your doctor, including how often and how long to apply cold therapy, how often to take breaks from cold therapy, when to inspect your skin, and the total length of treatment during your recovery. Federal law restricts this device to sale by or on the order of a licensed healthcare practitioner. As a final reminder, be sure to inspect your skin under the pad as prescribed.
typically every one to two hours. You should be able to inspect the skin by lifting the pad and insulation barrier at the edge. Do not use your polar care system if your dressing, wrapping, bracing, or casting over the pad prevents skin checks. Stop using polar care cold therapy and contact your doctor if you experience any adverse reactions, such as increased pain, burning, increased swelling, itching, blisters, increased redness, discoloration welts, other changes in skin appearance, or any other reactions you have discussed with your doctor. To stop the unit, unplug it from the electrical source, or if using the Polar Care Kodiak's battery, pull the battery away from the DC jack. To disconnect the pad from the cooler, depress the two metal tabs on the connector and gently pull it apart. The pad will seal itself and won't leak. Some dripping during release is normal. Drain the pad between uses. Hold the pad upright with the hose pointing toward the ground. Depress the pad's black plunger and squeeze the pad to allow water to drain out of the pad. After each use, drain and dry the pump with a soft cloth. Periodically remove the filter cap and rinse under warm water. Also, remove the foam filter and gently rub between your fingers while rinsing under warm water. You may need to do this maintenance step more often if you have hard water. Don't run the pump without water because it can cause permanent damage to the pump. If you need a reminder of how to apply the pads or use the unit, just scan the QR code on the label of your Polar Care unit with your QR code enabled smartphone to view this video again. Or you can go to Bragg.com to view this video online. You can also refer to the operating instructions printed on the side of the unit or the product insert in the pouch on the unit. You can also view the product insert on the Bragg website. Rather, talk to a person? Call Bragg Customer Care at 1-800-897-BRAGG. That's B-R-E-G or 2734. If you have questions about cold therapy treatment, call your doctor. Bragg Polar Care units are very reliable. With proper setup and maintenance, our customers experience very few difficulties. In the event you run into an issue, let's go over a few tips. If at any point your pad is not getting cold, take the following steps one at a time until the issue is resolved. Starting at the wall, check to make sure the power outlet is working and that the plug is fully engaged with the unit. Remove the lid and check to make sure there is plenty of ice left and that the water level is at or above the indicated line. Remove the filter cap and filter. If clogged, rinse under warm water. Also, remove the foam filter and gently rub between your fingers while rinsing under warm water. Replace the lid and follow the length of the blue insulation hose to ensure there are no kinks. Raise the unit off the ground and place on a table or chair. Decrease the compression on any bandages or straps that may be used to secure the pad to the body part. In warm weather areas, some amount of condensation on the pad is normal. If excess condensation appears on the surface of the pad, Wrap the outside of the pad with an ACE bandage or similar material to keep warm, humid air from coming into contact with the pad. If you're unable to resolve any issue using the steps within this video or have questions about your Polar Care unit or pads, don't hesitate to contact Bragg Customer Care at 1-800-897-BRAGG. That's B-R-E-G or 2734. We wish you a quick, stress-free recovery.